right now, everything's okay. No matter where. Since quite a long time now, I was looking about a technique about managing collisions in Unity with models coming from Blender. But to my despair, I never found something that I quite like. Till today! In this video, I will show you a quick setup that I have made based on another video from Cat's Beats and a chat exchange with Ratty. His video was presenting a solution for a model made in Blender but for static object without physics or for fixed object. Basically, the option is kinematic uh, after we checked in the rigid body component to make it work. The issue is that most of the models uh, you will design will have a concave shape and Unity, especially physics, does not like that. In Unity, there is a component called Mesh Collider that takes a mesh as a collider. However, if your collision mesh is not a convex shape, Unity will not allow to launch your application. Of course, you can let Unity to deal with the issue by letting Unity creating a convex shape from your collision mesh. But often, it does not end like you expect. The shape is too approximate and may give you the impression there is uh, an inside force making your object floating in the middle air. To avoid this issue, you can still add simple box colliders around the object, like for this chair. However, the result is not quite good as soon as you have a slope or another shape that doesn't perfectly fit into a box like for example a shape with an angle of 45 degrees and this will become even more true with a complex model so really I wanted to find a solution to allow me to create several mesh colliders from a tool such as Blender and not spend my time to create boxes in Unity The solution that finally I end up with is quite simple but yet efficient to model in Blender You define collision meshes that will be used by Unity in Blender and a very small workload in Unity after import. To demonstrate that, I will take this model that looks like a kind of stair with walls and I will show you how I have imported that in Unity. First of all, in Blender, realign the model of your choice. Here is the model of my stairs. When you are happy with that, create another mesh or another object in Blender. Now create a very simple collider mesh that matches the model you want to simulate in physics. Of course, it's very important to realize a shape that is concave, otherwise you will have another issue in Unity. Create again two other objects for the collision mesh that will be used for the walls. I put them in another object, a plan here. Then I put everything inside as a child of this plan. The collision meshes and the model mesh for displaying. I do that to have already the proper hierarchy in Unity. It's important that you will need your display model to follow the collider meshes used by your physics engine. Come back to Unity. In Unity, your object looks a bit weird because it displays at the same time the collision meshes and the model mesh. Unity does not have any way to make the difference between them for the moment. We will make things looking right. Just select the object. Go to the Collision Game Object Child and add Mesh Collider component. Automatically, Unity will select for you the correct mesh, so you don't have to do anything. Remember, in Blender, 
your mesh was a convex shape. So you will tell Unity to make a convex shape of it with all the optimizations on. It should speed up the collision for the physics engines and create a good mesh collider. Of course, last step, remove the mesh renderer for the collision game object as you do not want to display it. Do this for all the collision game objects for your imported model. Now go to the parent of the object and add a rigid body component and a collision box. Put this collision box somewhere inside the collision meshes if you don't want to have any interaction with it or use it as a real part of your model. This will enable the physics for the game object. And then run it! And voila! It works! Fantastic! The ball is going through the stairs without problem. Well, it was my first video. I hope you will enjoy and please leave me some comments uh, if you want to see me posting more tutorials or tips. Uh, yeah, so see you next time!